What's up, guys? It's your favorite mentor, Ufenta Letoaba. Welcome to the Heroes channel, guys. Today, I'll be showing you guys the ways of trading GBP USD and where we are currently and how you can be able to capitalize on the moves. Let's go into the charts. Don't forget to click the like, subscribe, and share notification bell. And also, if you like to use the broker that I use, best broker in the world, uh, best recommended broker, please click the link below and if you like to learn directly from me you know what to do visit our website and purchase the course or you can contact us and you'll get uh, much more clarity let's get into the charge As you know, guys, our most uh, trusted formula is starting from a higher time frame going into a lower time frame. As I always mentioned that we use a reverse pyramid formation. So let's look at what is currently happening. Before I go into the current market, I just like to discuss something, show you what happened, repeat itself. As I always mentioned that history repeats itself. Okay, let's look at, let's not go back too much okay you can use can use this significant area this this area just to show you guys what i mean by history repeat itself and as to trading a gbp usd today i'm on daily time frame guys Okay, I can see two points that showing me that this is going to indeed go down. Remember, we are going up, and then what would I see? I'm having two points. An M formation, or as we call it, a double top. Before anything else, I can see these two points. You can see the M formation. So, we are having... These two points. Okay. Then we, without doing anything, I can see that this is my strong resistance. So I'm expecting the price to reject this area. Price to reject this area, we are definitely going down. So you 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 see. I have double top and I have resistance. And then now we have to see that we are where? We are in an uptrend, but the uptrend is coming to an end. Use this, okay. So we can see that we were pushing to the upside. We were in an uptrend. And then what happened? We formed a high and then came back to return this high, forming a double top and in formation we broke. And then this small retest, then we are gone. Okay. So you can see that we have our rules in place. And we also seen that once we broke uh, this support, we pushed further, we never came back. Okay, now let's go to the current market. On daily, guys. Okay. You can start by identifying your highest point to be that one. And then your lowest point will be this one. So I can see that we have greater chances of coming to the lowest here, to come here, okay. So now, I'm looking at this, and then what I'm gonna do, duplicate it, and also use the line charts, okay, this, 
Let me duplicate this. Okay, makes sense. And then now you can use this. You can see here these points they communicate. So now look at what is currently happening, guys. Look, because I'm not gonna draw many lines uh just to confuse you guys. Look what is currently happening here, here now. Do you see what is currently happening? I'm on a line chart. We broke and then we, re we retested on daily. Look at what, let me zoom in so that you can be able to see. This is a break and a retest. Do you see? But look at the line chart. It's showing you that it broke, now it retest, then it's pushing down. And then if you look at the candlestick formation, look what is currently happening. It was, A candlestick pattern. So, okay, let's go to four hour. Indeed, four hour is saying, yes, you are correct. I've retested. So this will be my strong area. Below this line, I'm only selling going down. I've, I've already seen my decision i'm selling going down okay let's go to one hour indeed we are below wow this is gonna be a very nice trade to take okay indeed we are below so let's see Just wanted to see our median. Okay. Like this. This level. Um, let's see. Okay. So now we are looking at selling this and taking it all the way down. But remember, I want to show you guys something very important. I would like to sell this when it breaks this line. And I'll show you the reason why. I want to sell this when it when it's below here. Then I know that it's shooting down when it breaks here. Okay. Let me show you why I'm gonna put my cell below here. I'm gonna wait for it. Look what we had here. We had let's say something like a reverse. Head and shoulders. See, we really have something like this. Okay, it's not. That's right. Okay, let's see. It's showing here, I didn't want to take it something like you see. You see, we have something, a similar pattern like a head and shoulders here. Go to 15 minutes. Indeed, it is. It is a head and shoulders pattern. You see. So, I would like to avoid being caught on the wrong side. You see. Let me duplicate it. But I would like to avoid being caught on the wrong side. You see what I'm having now? Because what can happen now, you can see we have an impulse to the upside. We have an impulse to the upside. Then 
correction, boom, push to the upside. But so my decision will be based on these two. Okay, it will be based on these two. I'm gonna sell when the market is below here, and I'm gonna buy when the market is above. So my buy will be above here. My sell will be below here. You see? So you will have to learn this is a manipulation to catch people on the wrong side. So you have to be able to identify this, guys. It comes with practice. You saw that we broke on higher time frame and showing us that, yes, indeed, we are going down. But currently, we are having a correction here showing a possible bullish movement, but I'm only gonna buy when it breaks this resistance. And here, I'm only gonna sell when it breaks this support. So always follow your rules, guys. Don't just rush and say, ah, it's a correction, so I'm just gonna buy or sell. So make sure, guys, you check me in my next video. It's your favorite mentor, Ufense Lidwawa. Peace.